Today, I'm looking at a platform that I've never used in my life, but I know we can turn our art into NFTs with Manifold. Always remember to do your own research as some of the tools that I'm about to show in this series are very new. When I started making NFTs back in 2021, the space was new and still evolving. There weren't many NFT creation tools available. A lot has changed since then, and now we have so many options. Even so, the tools can still be over technical and very hard to navigate, making it difficult for artists to create NFTs. That's why, as an artist, I'm making this series to test and review different NFT platforms to help other artists find the tools that will best fit their needs. And with that, let's get started. So, Welcome to the channel and like I said this is not a tutorial but merely a way for me to see what platforms are out there that can help artists make NFTs and today we're looking at Manifold. Now I've never used this but I've heard a lot about Manifold so this is going to be an interesting video for me as well as I've never touched this program. So let's get going and this is the landing page of Manifold. Now I can already see Mint and sell your masterpiece. So of course we can create. I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, start creating. And now we need to go and connect our wallets or continue with email. I think I'll use my wallet seeing that I do have MetaMask installed, but you can use various of these wallets. I do have other videos on my channel where I show you how you can install one of these wallets uh, as an extension. So we just need to connect and here we go. Signing a message, okay, so we need to sign a message. We do go and sign that and now we should be able to go in. All right, let's just add an email. So add your email as a recovery method. That is actually pretty interesting and pretty cool that you can recover your account with an email. Now we get to add a creator's name. So I guess this is to get to your gallery or something. So I'm just going to say hash lips. And then we can optionally connect our Twitter as well, which is nice. If you have a big Twitter following, you can connect your account and maybe uh, share your art like that. So I'm going to go and say start creating. It's hope for the base. So far, so good. Very smooth, the process. Oh, wow. Even pops up with... Um, some tutorials and get support and schedule a call. I've never seen that of an NFT platform allowing you to schedule a call. Very, very interesting. Okay, cool. I do not need tutorials. Maybe we do. Maybe we don't. Let's uh, just try and create uh, an NFT ourselves with the platform. So as I'm on the dashboard, I can see that they put a pinned message here. Contract verification on Ethereum has been fixed. So that is nice to know that they... Kind of keep people up to date with that. All right, so where do we click? Um, I see that create something new. We can create a edition page, create a limited or open edition mint page. And that's pretty nice. Uh, we can do a one of one, mint a single piece to hold, transfer or sell on any platform. This is actually what we want to do, right? Like there's various options here. But in essence, I just want to create a one of one piece of my artwork. So I guess I'm going to click there or I can click here. But let's be specific and click on the one of one. Now they ask us to select a contract. I don't have an existing contract, so I'll have to create a new one. And when we do click on this, I see the network options are a bit limited. We only get Ethereum base or optimism, but I do have a tiny bit of Ethereum left. Let's hope that that is enough. I am going to start entering my details for the contract then. And this is the ERC721. And now interesting, um, yeah, on this ASCII, right? It looks like we need to provide some ASCII mark or something. So I went to this generator, maybe you can find a better one. And I'm just going to simply copy this. And then head back to Manifold and paste this in here. I read here and it says something about, you know, creating it for your header or some. I don't know why they need ASCII, to be honest, but I'm going to just create. All right. I am not going to lie. I was expecting to pay something, right? And not sure if the contract has yet been created. So 
probably gonna just say save and next. This is really interesting so far. Uh, set up media, okay? It's, it's quite surprising I didn't have to pay anything. Maybe I'll pay at the end, okay? So set up media, upload media, a title, and share more about your art. Okay, so I do have the artwork, which is going to be enjoy life. And I'm going to drop that in there, enjoy life. And then of course, we also have some description, which if I, if I can just copy that, paste that in there. A title created by Hashlips. Now we also get to add some extra properties. So I already see that there's a text property with artist and then value Hashlips, so that's cool. Uh, but we can add more. And I see we can add another text. Uh, we can also add a number and then boost number and boost percentage. I'm not sure what these two are. I guess um, we can just read here on the docs. However, let's add another text property. Scroll down. Maybe we'll add the medium. It's going to be a uh, lino, right? So that's cool. And then we also get to add some external link, but that's optional. I feel like this is good. So let's go and say save. All right, so we got a media, a media setup. So I hope this is perfect. We haven't skipped anything. Let's click on next. Okay, now we can select a recipient. Uh, choose where you would like to mint your work. Now I guess if we select my wallet, it will be minting to my wallet, or you can actually select someone else's address for this initial mint for this uh, artwork. So maybe if you did a commission, you can actually go and mint it directly to someone's address, which is quite nice. I'm just gonna select my wallet address and click on next. Now, looks good, time to publish. So this is our media, uh, this is our contract, and then this is gonna be the recipient. So I guess uh, this is where we're going to pay. It has to be, because we need to interact with the blockchain. So let's go to publish. Uh, are you sure you're ready to publish? Yes, we are. Okay. Mint token, upload token assets, pretty cool. So our tokens are, or our token content, at least is being uploaded to the decentral storage. Again, I've seen this on other platforms too. It's so nice that they actually show you the step of what's happening, uh, you know, because some people don't realize where these things go. And we know that our media needs to go to some decentral storage and then the metadata link to that data is being stored on the contract. Now, I guess it needs a review and approve uh, to deploy the contract and add mint extensions. So let's see. Okay, so we're going to do this. It's gonna cost us about 0 0.0019 and at the time of recording that's six bucks. Really, really not bad if this is going to be um, all the costs. I am very impressed, like I said in my previous video as well, with how how affordable it became to create these contracts uh, on chain, especially on Ethereum. As I said, back in 2021, it would cost you close to two, 300 bucks just to deploy some of these contracts. And now after the contract was deployed, of course, now we need to actually mint the token. So this is gonna be a bit of extra costs, right? Because uh, this is where we actually mint our NFT, our artwork that we set up. And here we can see it's going to be $4, $4. So I guess we'll have to continue here. But again, I don't think that this is, you know, um, too expensive, especially if you're an artist and you've put so much energy in your work, you want to put it up for sale on the Web3 space and, you know, as an NFT. All right, so right after that finished, I uh, unfortunately missed recording the confetti. It looks pretty cool, but we've minted successfully our NFT. And uh, yeah, so far, so good. You know, the experience is quite different. It's, it's different in a sense where you get to set up everything beforehand. It's not that you have to mint the contract first and then you go and mint. They kind of have you set up everything and then the last part is just where you have to cover the cost of interacting with the blockchain and doing those deployments, which is quite a, a nice experience, I must say. So here we can just say, go to summary now. 
And there we go. There we go. We have got Enjoy Life uploaded as an NFT. And here it is. Now, there are some links, preview links. We can view it on Manifold, Magic Eden, OpenSea. Let's go to OpenSea and see if it's there. Would love to see it. And there we go. There we can see we've minted on Manifold. And there's the Daniel's Lino Art Collection. That, of course, would be on OpenSea too, because this is now on the blockchain. So here we can go, we can click on our artwork, and of course, we can list this for sale on OpenSea or any other um, blockchain um, marketplace, right? So very nice experience. I also see that we can edit and have some more options. So it looks like we can actually edit some of the stuff. So I'm going to say... Enjoy live test, maybe here and say save. Then if I go publish, okay, it looks like it's going to publish the updates. Very, very interesting. I do not actually want to edit this because just because I don't want to go and pay now just for an, an edit. But interesting that you can actually update the metadata um, after publishing looks like it. So that's very cool. Now I am going to just look here. Um, there's my profile, my account and so on. And I guess if I go to home, I can actually see my own contracts. There's the uh, dot Daniel's Lino Art contract. And here is the NFT that we've minted. So when I click on create, maybe now if I click a one of one again, um, now I can go and select the same contract, right? Select my existing contract. I can select that contract because I already have it. And then I just have to pay for that NFT that I meant and not redeploy the contract. So very nice experience. And I have to say, I'm impressed with Manifold. I've never used it. And it was really a nice experience. Now all that's left is to rate our experience. Okay, so when it comes to the ratings, again, just want to reiterate, this is in no way a competition as these platforms cannot be compared because they have different goals, you can do different things with them. But when it comes to, as an artist, to create an NFT, what my experience was like, um, as for user friendliness, I think Manifold, honestly, is incredibly easy to use. It was so easy, um, the flow was quite different, but it works, it works very well because you set up everything you need to, you are not hindered by a deploying step and then doing something else, no, you focus on your collection, you focus on what you want to do first, and at the very end, you get to make that decision, right, of uh, deploying and minting the NFT. And right after that, you actually get to, um, I guess, then see it on marketplaces, right? So yes, uh, incredibly easy to use. As for customization, now, I felt like it had the same level of customization as OpenSea, mainly because your NFT ends up on different marketplaces where you could potentially go and edit them, right? Um, but other than that, I felt that it was quite cool that you can actually amend the artwork, you know, after the fact. It looked like you can actually edit things like the name, the description, and so on. Might be a good thing, might be a bad thing. I don't know if you can actually freeze the metadata so that no one can change it. Because look, NFTs at the end of the day, you want them to be immutable, right? Now, however, I did see that you could do things like adding some metadata tags. There was also those boosts that we saw, which we don't know what they are really, but the customization, I feel like it is flexible. Um, also uh, touching moderately adaptable, right? It's not as customizable as something like the third web um, platform. So yeah, I feel like that's where that lives. Well, I use it myself. Well, that's an interesting one because I never thought of using Manifold. I always heard about Manifold and how easy it is. And I also believe that you can do a lot more things with Manifold. Um, we haven't explored every avenue, right? But just for this experience, I would say I'm very likely to use it again. Uh, almost the same as OpenSea. I am still deciding maybe a bit more um, than OpenSea. I just like the flow that they took. Um, and the fact that you can see all your contracts right there. And of course, OpenSea being a marketplace as well has that upper edge where um, it's there already. 
um, and you're basically interacting with the marketplace too. But Manifold was a really nice experience. So it is also up there. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I thought it was going to be more difficult to use Manifold. Uh, but again, uh, I've never used it until today. Anyway, I hope this video brought you some value. And if it did, please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Maybe suggest what platform I should check out next. And then, till next time, I hope you have a beautiful day. Cheers for now.